Okay, first things first, we have to deal with our fretting hand. And for today's video, I'm not gonna move my fretting hand at all. I'm just gonna play a basic C chord. So my ring finger is gonna be on the third fret of the A string, middle finger, second fret of the D, and index finger, the first fret of the B. Basic C chord, nice and beautiful. That fretting hand is not gonna move whatsoever because I want you to focus on your picking hand, okay? This whole video is about refining your picking hand, gaining finger independence, and ultimately getting those basics of finger picking down. So the first step, is thumb independence. So since we're making that basic C chord, I want your thumb to be able to move from the A string to the D string, back and forth on a nice quarter note beat, a nice steady beat. Think one, two, three, four, okay? I want your thumb to start on the A string, go to the D string, back to the A string, and then back to the D string. We'll go ahead and count that for two measures just so you get nice and used to it. So it'll go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now, I don't want you to try and push so much as, with your thumb as I want you to let the weight of your hand let your thumb kind of fall. That'll ensure really good tone and that'll ensure a nice natural movement of your thumb. Okay, so that's step number one, thumb independence. Step number two is the basic pinch. Using your thumb and your index finger together as well as your thumb and your middle finger together. Okay, so for the sake of this exercise, your thumb is gonna maintain that back and forth motion between the A and the D string, and your index finger is gonna be anchored on the G string, and your middle finger is gonna be anchored on the B string. Okay, so when your thumb hits the A, your index finger is gonna pinch along with the G string, like so. And when your thumb hits the D, your middle finger is gonna pinch on the B string. Okay, so we're gonna do that same quarter note count but this time with the pinches. So it'll be a one, two, three, four, or you can think of it as pinch, 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 pinch. The thumb and index will go together and then the thumb and ring will go together. So that's gonna sound like this. Pinch, 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 pinch. One, two, three, four. Cool, so now we got thumb independence, we work the pinch into there. Now step three is what I like to call the staggered pinch. Okay, so instead of your thumb and index firing at the, at the same time and your thumb and ring finger firing at the same time, I want your thumb to go first, then your index, then your thumb, then your middle. Okay, and we're gonna be doing this over a series of eighth notes. So it'll be a thumb on the numbered beats and the index or ring on the and, I'm sorry, the index or middle on the and beats. So the thumb is gonna hit the A string, index the G, thumb hits the D, middle the B. I'll do that one more time. Thumb hits the A, index the G, thumb hits the D, middle the B. Okay? So if I was to count with that, it would be eighth notes. So it would be, again, thumb on the numbered beats, index or middle finger on the and beats. So it would go one, and, two, and, three, and, four, and. One, and, two, and, three, and, four, and. Okay, that's a basic eighth note pattern. Now the fourth step is to be able to mix those regular pinches and the staggered pinches. So what we're gonna do is on the one and the two beat of the measure, we're gonna be pinching the A and the G string on the one, and then the D and the B string on the two, just like we've done before. And then on the three and four and of the, mother, of the measure, <laughs> we're gonna be hitting the thumb on the A string, index on the G, thumb on the D, middle on the B. So it'll go three and four and, okay? Or you can think of it as pinch, pinch, thumb, index, thumb, middle. Okay, I'll count it both ways because uh, we all kind of keep track of time a little bit differently and certain things resonate with certain people. So I'm gonna actually count it both ways. I'll do the true numerical count and then I'll do the actual physical uh, motion count. I'll do two measures of each just so we're all on the same page. Okay, so here's the true numerical count. It'll go one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and. Now, if I was to just name the physical movements of the picking hand, it would sound like this. I'm gonna slow it down just a touch so we're all, we're all together here. It'll go pinch, pinch, thumb, index, thumb, middle. Pinch, pinch, thumb, index, thumb, middle. 
So there you have it. Those are the four steps to basic finger picking freedom. You gain your thumb independence, you work the index and middle finger in with the pinches, and then you stagger those pinches so you can tackle the eighth notes, and then you vary your usage of each of those, integrating the pinch and the staggered pinch together. Now, this is the absolute foundation for all things traditional finger picking. This is a traditional three style finger picking. Yes, there are other ways out there. You can include the ring finger, there's other methods, but this right here lies at the heart of all finger picking. So once you get these four basic steps, you'll be well on your way to, as I said, finger picking freedom. Now, I hope this lesson has empowered you to know that you can indeed finger pick. And if you wanna continue your finger picking journey, I wanna invite you to check out Tony's Acoustic Challenge. Go ahead and click the link in this video or in the description below and check it out because there's lessons there that are gonna allow you to continue on this finger picking path. Different songs, different academy lessons, you gotta check it out. So go ahead and click the links. And if it resonates with you, I want you to request your invite today. Thanks so much and I hope to see you over there.